So my opponent has argued that the advantages I brought up of women income in the military are all in non-combat situations. However, in the modern war, modern warfare, the concept of front line, the concept of a combat zone, the front line, is obsolete. According to Amy McGrath from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation, clear front lines in the battlefield in the past 10 years have not existed, and arguably all military operation specializations, including those with females, will continue to be in harm's way. So it doesn't matter whether you're in front line or not, you're going to be bamboozled. <laughs> also, according to the blurring of the blurring of this front line is further illustrated by by Char Mollison from USA Today. Modern warfare techniques using missiles and or guerrilla tactics, for example, mean that all military personnel, regardless of their role or gender, are likely to be exposed to danger. Moreover, current battle doctrines call for striking first at supply lines instead of front lines. As for the for the phenomenon that women are two times as likely to develop post-traumatic stress, which may be true, but women, but according to Linda Garrison Webster from the State University of New York. She states that um, a study led by LTC Grossman states that female soldiers are more likely to overcome post-traumatic stress disorder. So, yeah, maybe they are more likely to, to develop post-traumatic stress disorder, but they're also more likely than men to overcome that post-traumatic stress disorder and maintain their emotional stability and continue on with military missions. <laughs>